In 2011, the average SAT score for math was 514. Assume a normal distribution with a standard deviation of 40. Find the minimum and the maximum scores that will contain the middle 68% of the population. Given a normal distribution, the empirical rule says that 68% of a population falls within one standard deviation of the mean. Here, the mean is 514 and the standard deviation is 40. To find the minimum and the maximum scores that will contain the middle 68% of the population, simply subtract the mean by one standard deviation to get the minimum and add the mean by one standard deviation to get the maximum. So, for the minimum score, take 514 and subtract it by 1 times 40, and the answer is 474. Likewise, the maximum score is 554. Therefore, the middle 68% of the population would have scored between 474 and 554. If a student scored 594, what percent of the population would have scored above them? To answer this question, we need to know how many standard deviations 594 is away from the mean. Notice that 594 is above the mean of 514. In other words, 514 plus how many standard deviations is 594? Since sigma is 40, we can write this as 514 plus 40 times k equals 594. To solve for k, first, Subtract both sides by 514, and we have 40 times k equals 80. Now, divide both sides by 40, and we have k equals 2. Since k equals 2, we know that 594 is two standard deviations above the mean. Note that the empirical rule says 95% of the population falls within two standard deviations of the mean. If two standard deviations contain the middle 95% of the population, then 5% would fall outside of that. But we're only interested in the percentage that is above 594. Since the bell curve is symmetrical and 5% falls outside of the middle 95%, we can cut the 5% in half, which gives 2.5% on the upper side. Therefore, 2.5% of the population scored above 594. If a student scored 594, what percent of the population would have scored below them? Here, we already know 594 is two standard deviations above the mean, and only 2.5% of the population scored above 594. Since the bell curve contains 100% of the population, and 2.5% is above 594, simply take 100% minus 2.5%, which is 97.5%. Therefore, 97.5% of the population scored below 594. If a student scored 434, what percent of the population would have scored above them? A. 95%. B. 2.5%. C. 5%, D, 